Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Lorenzo Valoria with GamesRadar.com, and I'm here with... Ashley Reed. And uh, we're going to go over some Destiny basics, uh, some some stuff that, you know, you might have seen playing around in, uh, in Destiny, but, you know, not quite known what it's for. So, uh, first off... Ashley, you're a little new to uh, to Destiny and MMO style gameplay in general. It's true. That's uh, my shameful secret. I've never. I know about MMOs. I've seen people play MMOs. I get some things about them, but I've never played them myself, really. And Destiny happens to appeal to my love for first person shooters, so I wanted to give it a try. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that we were talking about earlier is, you know, you upgrade your your character in this in uh, in destiny and uh you know a lot of that is you know leveling which is you know the skill tree that we've gone over in some of our other videos here on the gamesradar.com youtube channel and that'll make uh, good sense but you can also upgrade your weapons not sure if uh everybody knew knows that so y once you get uh, enough experience with your weapons you could you know once you use this and kill a bunch of dudes with it you'll get these extra bonuses like uh, increased weapon stability or increased attack power or uh, new sights and the sights thing is useful too because you could go in like I have the sniper rifle that I've upgraded and right now I have a short range scope on it but you know if I wanted to change my tactics a little I could just go in and switch to a long range scope. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I could shoot people from a mile away. So I, I've, I've found that I use this quite often depending on what situation I'm in. And that wasn't immediately obvious when I was first looking at this. I was like, oh, plus sign. I have no idea what that means, <laughs> but figured uh, it out eventually, but it took a minute, it took a bit. And another thing I want to point out is that there's a ton of vendors over here in the tower. So if you haven't been exploring the tower very often, uh, check out some of these guys, like uh, the the Vanguard vendor. If you went with the digital special edition like me, uh, mm -hmm. you get this stuff, which you could buy, which uh, you know exchanges out and stuff. And uh, there's all these other level twenty weapons that you could unlock way later once you get to level cap, and you know some special sparrows, ultimate weapons. And then there's this stuff right here, the material exchange. Yeah, that didn't make sense to me when I was first looking at it. I was like, what is this even? Yeah, so spin metal. So this stuff, if you've been running around the Cosmodrome, the the first uh, world, uh, Earth, Earth, basically <laughs> in Russia, uh, you'll you'll come across these spin metal things they're they're like leafy metal pieces that are just yeah. sticking out of the ground you can walk they're, up to it they like erupt out of these barrels i think they might be some like toxic sludge or something yeah you could walk up to it and you collect it and once you like you can see right here i haven't collected enough i got 19 out of 50 but once mm -hmm. you collect it you could come to this guy and exchange it uh for something for so something good apparently once you guys figure that out let us know what the hell you get uh and you probably knew about this as well, is uh, you could buy new ships. That one I knew because it de it sends you there at the very beginning to get your ship fixed. It's like, hey, go to the ship right. Yeah, so. and new sparrows. And, you know, some of these look pretty cool. I've, like online, I've seen a lot of people just using the, the standard ship. And, you know, go go Thanks. deck out your, your traveling stuff a little bit. Go, that is go me. Here. I've still got the uh, standard ship for and shame. Guardian. There are also are these guys, the Dead Orbit guys, and all the other faction vendors. Oh, jeez. Uh, so the way faction works is something that I won't explain in this video because we made another video that you should definitely check out. It explains how faction and bounty uh, points work. All right, one very important part uh, of Destiny, and it's very mmo -y, is you have this vault uh, to which you could store all kinds of gear. Well... You know, you, you, you'd store all this stuff uh, from your one character, but what's really cool about it is if I stuck this in there, it's now in my vault. If I were to have another character, I could go into the vault and pull this gun out and use it. Oh, that's so really cool. That's a, a, a little mechanic you could call uh, twinking. Uh, it's done what? in MMOs a lot. It, it's, it's, what? Called, it's called? It's called twinking, yes. And uh, uh. so <laughs> that, that basically allows me, uh, since I have my high-level character here, I could get a really good rare gun, uh, not, necessar not necessarily want to use it on this guy. So if I had, like, uh, a really good sniper rifle that I wanted to use for my Titan or something, I could 
I put it in my vault and allow him to use it. You can twink it. So you could twink your character. You okay. use, you put really good items on a really low level character. So okay. and I guess I guess that could kind of work too if you and like a God forbid, like a sibling, we're using the same game. You could have different characters switch stuff to the vault if you don't need it. Yeah, if you wanted to share your console and stuff, but who wants to do that? I mean, some people are forced to, but you know. Okay, so let's go to Earth for some more stuff. All right, so we're here at the Cosmodrome, and uh, if you've been running around shooting a bunch of stuff, you might have come across uh, little things like this right here, the, the dead ghosts. And uh, when you revive them, you get a nice little... Rune card. Like, it's kind of confusing because you'd expect to get something, something out of, like, collecting all these. Uh, you will get an achievement if you collect uh, 50 of them, I think. But, yeah, I uh, think all of them. You get Grimoire cards, and Grimoire cards are something that is not really explained. So uh, Yeah, I wasn't too sure what those are supposed to be. Yeah, if you go into your inventory, they're, they're nowhere to be found. Like, I don't have a dead ghost in here or a Grimoire card. Uh, where they're at and where you can uh, view them is in the Destiny app that you can have on your uh, your smartphone or on the Bungie.net site. And basically, when you collect them, they're worth points. And up here in the corner, I can't really scroll over it, but there's uh, my Grimoire card score. So I have 520. And each of the, the cards have a point value to them. So it's basically a an achievement uh, system within Destiny itself, and it, uh, each of these cards give you uh, like special information on you know different characters and uh, weapons and basically anything you interact with. Like it, you, there's little bits of information. So, so it's basically a collectathon for yeah. people like me who can't get enough of that. Essentially, and uh, one more thing that we wanted to touch on as you're running around, uh, just the worlds, the Cosmodrome, and all the, at the moon, and all the different worlds and stuff. There are some gold chests around, uh, and I can point, point out the location of one of them real quick, uh, but these are really something that you want to go look out for, uh, because they give you really good items for what level you'd find them at, and uh, if you get all five of them, I think there's probably five for each world if you get all five of them you get special items so uh like i have this really cool uh, uh sparrow bike here and that was from collecting all five of the gold chests on earth oh, uh, okay see this cave right here yeah there's a there's a gold chest in oh there. is that where they all are i remember going into a one of the caves near here and i just ran into a bunch of dudes who like it didn't even show what their level was. It was just question marks, and I tried to shoot at them, and it did nothing. So I'm like, I'm bailing. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope. So that must be where they are. Yeah. So uh, there's one in there. there. There's other ones spread all over the place. I think but there might be one behind you. Yeah. Well, maybe. That direction. <laughs> uh, one more thing I wanted to touch on is uh, the there's elite guys or really high-level guys that you might run into. Uh, they're hiding behind all these rocks, and they're probably going to kill me really quickly right here. But uh, if you run into any guys with question marks over their head, get away. Run away fast, because these guys cannot be killed. Like, they're immune to all firepower. I shot one in the head with my super powerful sniper rifle, and it did absolutely nothing. And he... Dang. He just shrugged that thing off. So if you run into any... Crazy elite dudes, yellow bar dudes, or uh, question mark levels, run away. Just get, go, get, just get go. Get on your sparrow. Cut your losses. Peace, peace out. And that's going to do it for this video. Th that was a few basic uh, things that you should probably know about as you're starting off with Destiny. Uh, be sure to check out gamesradar.com. We got a gold chest guide. We have uh, plenty of videos explaining how to play Destiny if you're a little bit confused. Not not everything is really explained all the way through in this, so... It can be uh, a little confusing, but yeah, it's Yeah, be sure to check out gamesradar.com for more information. <laughs>